Let's continue playing Open XCOM Final Mod Pack when we last left off. Tanks. Which did not die immediately. This is an improvement. Tanks not dying is a definite improvement over what has happened over the last few missions. That being said... That being said, tanks are easily replaceable. I mean, by this stage, especially given the... Um, Especially given the cycle rate of the Steves and the fact that they have tacitly taken over all of our bases in terms of ground assault missions, we have their brains on permanent storage. So, you know, one Steve is very much like another, but no Steve is like Steve. And no Steve is like Rocket Tank, who arguably was the original Steve. Just not called Steve, called Rocket Tank, because he was amazing. We have many of those too. Alright, so nothing actually outside of a ship so far. Um, something to think about, but we don't need to necessarily worry. Oh, there we go. One found. Around the back, and I can just about make a shot here. Missed. Well. Tape. Let's go and have another go. I've got another shot. Half chance. Hit, but no death. Rail tank, I suppose we'll go off and support the effort going off over there. Meanwhile, we'll have Gordon Oase and Vegan Bob prepare for cracking of the ship. Meanwhile, Scarlet is going to go and just explore, make sure we're safe around here. Nash, um, you want to prepare entry duty? Engineer Supreme. I suppose just get everybody else into a sort of position ready to deal with things. ACSS Moon Beam, still with double equipment, because why not? Actually, well, those tanks could go and do a similar thing over here, possibly just explore this, um, this dugout area, give ourselves a little bit of extra support on this side. Underworld G to there. Oh, he's had a go. Trolby, however, is fine, and now we get auto fire. But not actually all that effective. Um, maybe I want to move for tank first, see if I can actually get a line of sight to this guy. Or at least provide a distraction. Yeah, I think we're going to go for the distraction angle here. Okay, well, we got him spotted. Which should hopefully help. We'll see. Um, tape. 90%. Let's have a go. Alright, one down. Nash, open the door. Apologies for the interruption. We continue onwards. Microphone's still on. Good. Alright. So, no real issues as we approach this point of the mission. One enemy dealt with. I think the one thing I'm probably going to have to look at is whether we've got some people sneaking around, but. <sighs> we, we need a few big weapons on the inside, though. That's got to be the main priority right now. So, Rail Tank can go and just do exploration for us since it can't go into a ship anyway. Blaze Tank can do the same. I think we'll put the snapshots on at this point, and let's get. Actually, I suppose you've got enough people. It's just a case of who wants to try and enter first. Yeah, 
I think that's the answer. Nobody wants to enter first. Alright. Give it a turn, see what happens. Gordon. Position. Very least he's got the heavy weapons, so we're not too worried if it all goes wrong. He also has reasonable reactions. Nash can't counter fire, so we are going to have to potential. Oh, you missed one. Uh, that might not be good for us. How many times do you need? 36. line of fire and I've and he's nudged himself I was I was concerned that when it happened but oh dear okay vegan Bob get to there fire a snap and run yep snap and run it is and now problems problems that apparently did not come up Either he's moved on, or he's become the hide and seek champion. Either way, nothing in there. Okay, that's important to know. Nothing in there. So we can position up, we can move in, start taking some risks, and move Nash Nash into. Where do we even put Nash Nash at the moment? Put you about there. Problem with having two guys with weapons that don't reaction fire. I know one of them's got a thing, but. I guess there's an outside chance that someone's hanging out in this area. Rail tank, around the side. And I guess we bring Scarlet into the mix now. Another time for our commander to be absent from the field of battle. Okay, so that's it coming back through. So I guess the real question is... Oh, the only thing really sees it. Can Big Bob fire from that? No. Alright, well this is just me covering things off. Now, Underworld... Aim shot that missed. Nash. Oblivion eyes. And that is one successfully oblivionized opponent. So, from that. From that, I think we're going to move the moonbeam up. And we're going to prepare for stuff and things going on that way. Nash can move along. Underworld can move along. And we got Scarlet as backup in case we need it. Nothing seen. Hello! And you missed the Illyrium. Good work, Vegan Bob. Okay. Along and ready. You have no ace. A long duck ready. Moonbeam sees nothing. And we'll just move Trait G to support. You are Nash. We'll go along there and be ready for Gatling. Okay. Nothing yet. Okay. Vegan Bob. Open the door. Importantly, Dylan's doesn't see anything, so we have to consider that's reasonably clear. At least clear enough to move you in. Does present the question of, is there actually anyone left, or are they all outside the ship? 
We've got some reasonable cover on positions outside the ship, but we've not done the most intensive of sweeps, especially not in the mountain areas. Okay, no, we got the answer now. So... Okay, Viking Bob got hit, but he'll survive that. So he can duck and cover. Meanwhile, we can move some people in to go and deal with things. Should really have ACSS Moonbeam trying to use his, um, his tools to help us out here. Oh, he's only got a stun weapon. Oh, in that case... Hello. We hear you have a stun weapon. Also, we broke our way through the wall. That was not the right person. This is what happens when you make assumptions. You get Dylan killed. <sighs> Alright. Nash. Make assumptions, you get Dylan killed. That's the rules. I saw he only had a stun weapon. That was that was needless. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh well. Connor, Engineer Supreme makes Captain. Vegan Bob makes Sergeant. Go on though, Ace. Eight kills. Joins the ranks of the Fallen. But he at least definitely has six clones. Possibly. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, rail rifle clip is done. Let's just get the rest of the rail rifle stuff done and then we'll think about what else we're doing. We have a ton of engineering space not being used at the moment. Actually, speaking of which, base-wise. In two Sonic Laboratories, we have the laser defenses. Should I build a third workshop? Considering. Um... We also only have laser defenses. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to upgrade the base defense until we have everything else for that, but... Okay, so we have two. Sentinel 1... Actually, no, cancel that. Thunderstorm 1 can go for that, and Thunderstorm 2 can go for this. Battleship. Alien Retaliation. Okay. It's floaters, so we're not too worried about it in many regards, but... Alright, so we have a couple then. I mean, it's a couple of small missions we could do, get some more equipment, but I'm almost tempted to just leave them and wait for month end to get ourselves that psychic um, insurance against a lot of enemies. But mind you, we might have a bigger concern in a moment. Snake Man Terror Ship. Alright, that we've got to deal with. Alright, we're going to sink it. <laughs> Alright. Any Terror sunk. That battleship, though, is just going to sit there and taunt us, I think. It's sat there and taunt us. I'm actually not going to do those missions. We're going to leave those. All right, heavy railgun clip production has now been done. So let's go and build ourselves another laser tank. Because we lost one. Actually, I don't think we lost one necessarily at this base, but we're going to build one anyway. And... Yeah, we can cease production of this, I think, or at least cut down on it enough. Build ourselves another laser tank. Okay, another small alien scout ship. Let's just go and destroy it. Really? What's the point of these? There's a waste of resources. 
All right, tank laser cannon's done. Floater terror in the Arctic. I don't know what you're trying to terrorize in the Arctic, but, um, but we're not going to let you. Now, yeah, it's only suddenly this, and it's at night as well, so the solar-powered weapon does nothing. Well, relatively nothing. Uh, I'm interested here. Okay. And then we've got an excellent rating. So, shooting down ships is exactly what they want. Increase in funding. Psionic training, round two then. So, we have some psionic skill improvements. However, we clearly have to change a few of these. So, here's our lowest. We should really have a sort button, I think. So, rows can be replaced by whoever you are. And... We have a 41. Do we have any lower than the 41? We do not. Nash Nash. Go for that. Let's come topper. So, we have three spare slots and we have a lot of soldiers. So, we have a couple of 80s. Much more dynamic Nat. We'll replace you with you. Have another 20. Have another 20. Have a 40 as well, but I don't think we've got too much in the way of that. So, that is our new training regime for this. And some skill points have been improved, so, you know, we have at least a chance of getting some psionic skills going off. Uh, you're going to continue, and you're going to continue. Alright, okay. Service medals. Longevity medals. More medals for all. And finally, we can now do some psionic combat. I mean, to be fair, with a lot lower psionic skill, they're not going to get much. It's going to be two or three months down the line. But we're at the point now of being able to turn the enemy against themselves. Which, you know, has got to be a plus. Alright, Waspite Small Terror Mission. Okay, another small scout retaliation mission. It's just one wasp bite going, I'm going to terrorize the Hubies! No! Okay, well that's done. And finally, once we eventually catch up with him, this is also going to die. Why are they sending one-man ships? Are we just, they just out of resources? We never had those battleships up there that did nothing. Failed to find us. Maybe they just decided to just send the small ones and I hope we will ignore them. Okay, so tank laser cannon is now done. Okay, sentry ship. Let's go take that out. That actually might be worth going and doing a mission on, depending on how many there are. Destroy base, off you go. The other advantage now, I suppose, now, is if our two sub-bases get attacked, we do have psionic weirdness that they can attempt. It's only a small sentry ship. Maybe I should leave that as well. Yeah, we, we've now got to the stage of only wanting to deal with the big ships. But here we go. Heavy plasmas. Allocate research. We need those clips now. Because this is the step up. This is the step up. Hyperwave decoder and Aztec Force is now complete. Okay. I have no idea what else we want from this base. If we, in fact, want anything from this base. But it's now doing its job of just giving us vision over everything down there. So, hey, we have basically world coverage if we put something in South Africa. So, we'll have to think about that in a little bit. Waspite's terror mission. Okay. I think you want to kill that before it happens. Unfortunately, you need repairs. So, XCOM Topper, send the Sentinel. We lost the tracking. Go to last name location. You're going the wrong way. It's going to have a terror mission. Not quite. All right. We are going to save this from whatever terror they're going to cause. And this is a big enough ship that it's worth going for. So let's get the Eskom Topper base equipped up. I'm probably going to name people next video, so we will recycle the names but for now we're just going to go with our elite troopers for the time being 
Intercept. XCOM topper. Go for there. Hopefully before it goes dark. Just enough. Okay. So we're not using our psionic weirdness at this stage because clearly it's not important at this point. I guess I could have put some Psy things on there. At a, at a 91 strength, it might have been possible to do something. But I feel we probably want the skill to go up another round before we're 100% confident we're going to manage this. What this does mean is we really don't want to lose people on this mission if we can avoid it. Alright, Steve. Don't die. What did I tell you? Don't die. He can die all he wants. He's got a laser weapon. He doesn't even care about the laser weapon. Um, laser tank. Okay. So, obviously, things to watch out for. We know there are going to be those little bug things. So, we're going to be using flotation a bit more than we would necessarily worry about here. So we're probably only going to be attacking with the people who are flying. Our ground troops are just going to be the people who would, I'd normally sit at the back here. So, recoil syrup snake up top. Let's move the invincible one up there. Smitey, at the very least he's a sniper, so it makes sense for him to be up there. And just Ryan can head off this way. Tanks, unfortunately, necessary evil, but we're, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Well, somebody's been shot at. Reaction. Good reaction fire. Good reaction fire, whoever that was. Alright. Just Ryan is fine. And we spot two. We're more interested in the thing with guns, so... Good shooting from the Just Ryan. And if we can have a snapshot and kill this thing, we'll try it. Missed. But we have other priorities. I mean, it was Talon's Ghost with the reaction fire, which was a good one in retrospect. So, duck and aim shot, and we'll try and take this thing out. I completely misclicked on the screen there, so that whatever that I looked at, that was being taken out. Alright. Aim shot. Nicely done. We like our captains and um, our elite troopers of XCOM to be the accurate ones. It always makes things easier. Right, that's another wasp bite. Flying in the middle, but only armed with a laser. I'm actually going to advance on a little bit and see if we can gain some vision. In the meantime, Firestorm. If you would be so kind as to eliminate this thing for us. Fine then. British commie traitor. Number three. Auto fire, please. That did not work at all. Alright. Aim shot. I'm going to give up on the aimed shots at some point. It's going to be a sad day when I do, but I'm going to give them up on them. Alright. We also did make a bunch of ammo, so I don't know why I'm worried about ammo conservation here, but... We finally hit one. That's That's got to be something. Uh... Syrup Snake. If I have a snapshot, I want this thing dead. I suppose the tank does have the ability to try this, so... I was going to say I have no idea where it's aiming, but the third shot hit. I should not doubt the Steves. They know what they're doing. They know their business. Murder everything. With the possible exception of the humans. Okay. So that's everybody moved, so let's move on to turn. Okay, more of the bugs. There's quite a lot of them around, actually. Also, you've eaten quite a lot of... Quite a lot of guns at this point. 
Um, yeah, I think we'll just go for you. Alright, just right, not able to make any headway on that. Talent, let's go for an aimed shot at this. Aimed shot at this. It survived it. Okay. Rail tank will advance. Uh, can Kane have a go at that? Maybe. Snapshots? No line of fire. Alright. Tersus the Invincible. Somewhere down there, we know there's an enemy. I think that was worth a go. Ultimately didn't work, but, you know, it was worth a go. Alright, call me traitor. Catch up with that tank. Or a cane. I'll advance there. And we will take a snapshot at this thing. So we now see multiples of them. There's a lot over here. I don't know how far they move, but it's something to be considered at the very least. Um, Smitey will move forward and we'll take a snapshot at the remaining one. Alright, five of those things dead in that small area there. And I think we're going to be Firestorm along this way. Yeah, so now you can see the one that we spotted earlier. And the kill as well. Okay, that might keep just Ryan alive. Which we appreciate. It's a useful job. I think we'll call that there. More of those things. So many more of those things. Okay. Tessus, you're on spotter duty. Unfortunately, you did not spot it. Tank moves along. Does see it this time. Oh, in fact, sees a different enemy. But it's dead now. Alright, one there. Let's have a go. That did do some damage, so that's not the, um, the stun small launcher. does mean I've got to be slightly more alert about that. Because I'm fairly certain in the last video I basically assumed it was going to be the stun gun when I had absolutely no proof of that. And of course I know I should know better because I've seen that they do do damage sometimes. Oh, another little bug. No line of fire at the moment, but we can solve that. Snapshot one. Snapshot two, no. Maybe we can't solve that one. Maybe that wasn't. Maybe that was a lie. Uh, Just Ryan. Let's move along. No line of fire on the bug at the moment. But another bug down. Okay, navigator's gone berserk. Yeah, they they're losing a lot. A lot of these bugs are really easy for them to kill for us to kill, and just means that their numbers drop so fast that we can start the panic nonsense on them. Helpfully as well. There's another one. Yeah, I think we're probably safe enough to do some advancing here. 
The Lost Fighters haven't shown very mi much in the way of resistances yet. I mean, that one previously did eat a, um, a rail shot, but I don't think that was particularly down to its defenses. I think it was just more had enough hit points to survive the attempt. And yeah, that one's now gone somewhere else. He might even just decide to fly away, which is something I always have to remember they can do. Flying away to victory is always a valid plan in this game if you can get away with it. All right, Lady Kane up to there. Move the tank into position. And do the spot as you see. Okay, more panic, more panic. He's not doing anything significant, and we still don't know where the original one went. So, Railgun, advance. That's a little concerning, because I need to know where this small bug has gotten to. Because it can do a lot of damage if we forget about it. Okay, now I see it. Mostly I just want to know where it is. That's, that's the thing. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to know where it is. And now I know, so I'm going to fire at it twice. Missed, but that's fine. Uh, move the Kami Tracer along. It'd also be quicker for us to just blast our way through at this stage. Definitely needs a few more people on entry duty. Alright, Enzo. He's got an eye on where he is. If he tries to do anything too awkward, well, we've got infinite ammo Gatling available somewhere. Yep, there we go. Gatling, fire! Almost exactly what we wanted him for. Alright, down we go. So, of course, the good thing about the terror ships, provided, of course, there's no bugs inside them. You know, the small ones we hate, as opposed to the big ones that are just the enemies of this area. Is that our tanks can go and actually support for some of this battle. Not all of it, unfortunately. Not a battleship size, but they can at least secure the, s the bottom area. We can see that the ship has been damaged. It looked actually relatively unharmed, but um, but we can see there was definitely enough stuff there that we needed to worry about. Thankfully, all the power source and stuff are in there, so all the values around. And that was a shotgun. It has been damaged, but I think that's from stuff earlier. So we're going to duck and avoid. Lady Kane. Advances up to there. We're going to move our laser tank around the other way. And yeah, that's the one thing I've got to remember. That you can go up these ways. Which isn't a damaged bit of a ship. But it is actually part of the design. And these things can float of course. So they could they could be there as well. Which is why I need you and when we get around to it, you to be in position here because we're going to need you to help assist with the cracking of this ship. Okay. Medic has gone berserk. So that's the medic there in the... So we now know the black thing was the medic. But it's the blackish bluish one anyway. Okay, that's fine. Position up and ready. 
Tech's not dead. We can go off here. And he is also going to do the same kind of trick here and just try and get himself set up in a position where he can assist there. Meanwhile, here comes the commie traitor. Firestorm has a look. Sees that they've been panicking up here, but doesn't actually... Oh, no, there we go. That's it. Doesn't actually see any of them. Still, we can use that information. It's useful stuff for us. I'll we'll have the tank in sort of the backup position here. And those of you without flight suits can work your way around. Okay, let's panic on this round. So, something to be aware of. I think we're going to attack with a commie traitor because we badly need to get him leveled up. Okay, auto fire. And we're going to duck and hide. Leader has gone berserk. And it's potentially stunned. Okay, so we never lead as that one. Whichever one that was. Hello, you are not the leader. Therefore, we're not interested. We are potentially interested in a waspite leader. To the extent that I'm going to equip the stun stick. But I'm not massively going to be trying to make sure that works. Also, you don't have a stun stick. Nobody. Who's? Why do we not have stun sticks on the Templar power side of things? Stun stickery is something that I approve of as a tactic in this game, and clearly we should be trying to utilize it wherever possible. Okay, so the leaders are purple, unless I'm misreading that. And now that we know he's there, it's kind of unfortunate that we set things up and you don't already have the thing there, but fine. Um, so, he's got the most time units. You have at 52. Not a great number, but let's see. Strip snake. Attempt to stun. Failed. Um, well, he's panicked, so he shouldn't have a gun. And I don't see any other ones that are around, so... Did he throw a grenade? He did. And we had to kill him for that. But, okay. That worked out nicely. So 16 killed, no casualties, Black Cross Award, Merit Star, Military Cross, Athena Citation, Rare Rifle Proficiency Reward... And we dealt with a terror ship. Which is a nice way to potentially end the video. But we'll see what comes up next. Right, so rail rifle is now done. Oh, convoy. Oh, do we have a base nearby? Oh, we might have a base nearby. Alright, equip the craft. Pilgrim world ship can join us for this one. Intercept. Uh, dude. Yep. Temple of Bow can go for this mission since they haven't done one in a little bit. Landing site 48. Next time we do this. Until then.